La Elegante, Patty Ramirez, all the way from Aguas Caliente, Mexico. She's challenging Kaylee Reese as she makes her entrance into the ring. But her entrance, not quite as exciting as Kaylee Reese. Can't wait. That's like the best. The best part is the the grand entry and the entrance. It's like I explained to you guys, so ceremonial. And the fact that I'm home and I have, you know, the dancers and the drummers live that I know that I connect with and they understand what it what it means to be out there and they're there to spread that good medicine. It is just, I can't wait. I can't wait. It gets me right where I need to be before that bell rings. Grand entrance from Kaylee Reese. She's got Native American warrior blood. She brought that tonight. Here's our tale of the tape. Kaylee is uh, really looking to come out here and uh, do some damage on, on counter punching Patty Ramirez. Ramirez, uh, the both of them being uh, five foot eight, but Ramirez seems to have a significant height advantage over the way in terms of the way she fights over Kaylee Reese. Ladies and gentlemen. From the Mohegan Sun Arena, we are set to go with our co-featured bout of the evening. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Sponsored by Montauk Ice Tea, Modell Sporting Goods, you gotta go to Moe's, and Mohegan Sun. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. Peter Harry, Don Trello, and Steve Weisfeld. At the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring will be Danny Schiavone. And now, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, she wears the pink with the black stripe. She weighed in at 146 and one half pounds. Her professional record, 11 oh, victories yeah. against five defeats. She has five wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Aguas Calientes, Mexico. Damas y caballeros, presentamos Patty La Elegante Ramirez. Ramirez. And her opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. She wears the turquoise and white. She scaled at a ready and even 144 pounds. Her professional record, 13 victories against seven defeats. She has one draw and four wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of East Hartford, Connecticut. Please welcome the former WBC, IBA, and UBF middleweight champion of the world, fighting for all nations, Kaylee, K.O. Mequinenha Reese. Reese. Ladies, we're going over the rules in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Keep the bow clean. Touch them up, go back to your corners. Well, here we go. The action is coming up again from this women's bout, our co-feature. Welterweight scheduled for eight rounds. Kaylee, K.O. McQuinnanog Reese. McQuinnanog meaning many feathers or many talents given to her by her Native American mother. And the two ladies come out banging. Patty Ramirez from Aguascaliente, Mexico. She knows she's in a fight tonight. Reese wisely coming out and pressing the action here. I think she 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 thinks she sees a weakness in uh, Ramirez. Reese, of course, let her out, let her out. got a lot of momentum despite coming off a loss against the undisputed champion 
uh, Cecilia Breakus. And, and she told us yesterday that that meant that fight with Breakus means that she belongs. She belongs in this, in this, in this sport. She belongs at the top of the women's women's boxing, and, and even in the middleweight division, and now fighting as a welterweight. Especially fighting as a welterweight. That's right. Came down two weight two, two weight classes. It's a significant drop. It's a significant drop. And we asked her yesterday, and she said that she was comfortable making the welterweight limit. Look, looked a bit looked a bit drawn and uh, had to weigh in later in the day due to a car crash, not allowing her to make the, the 11 o'clock weigh-in. That's right on the highway coming down from Providence, Rhode Island. Kaylee Reese said she wanted to tear that body up. I I've yet to see her not. Any of her fights that I've seen, <laughs> going she, for she, it. She, she digs to find something fierce. Now Ramirez on the outside, uh, looking looking to counter punch, not looking to really press the action. You, you're just you're looking to utilize your longer punches, looking to jab, looking to counter with a right hand and the left hand. That's right, nice straight right hand from Kaylee Reese. She's just starting to get there. Sweeping left hook, finds home, uppercut. Getting into a nice groove here in round one. Reese pressing the action as round one comes to a close. Ryan Cohen, Matt Godfrey, Danny Davis giving their instructions. Tells her not to rely on one shot. Put two or three together. Matt Godfrey, a world-class uh, cruiserweight in his own right, uh, in his day a couple years ago. Nice Reese, right hook. Reese landing, Reese. landing those, count those uh, combination punches. That was about two or three punches put together. Absolutely. Reese looks very comfortable in there. Oh yeah. This, this is this is her home. She likes to be in there. She likes to be mixing it up. <laughs> nice combination from Kaylee Reese. Patty Ramirez still standing right there. <laughs> Reese coming in here with, with her record at, at, at 13, 7, and 1, 4K season. It, it is extremely deceiving, and that's my point, that Reese has fought the toughest Body of shot. the tough in, in the in women's boxing in the middleweight division. Again, with that fight with Cecilia Breakhouse, uh, even even her last bout here on this network with Tiffany Woodard, uh, the barn burner was by far the fight of the evening. Mm -hmm. No question about that, as you alluded to. This, in, the, in, in addition to the fact that she's she's a world traveler, she's fought in, 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 in countries such as Spain, with Michaela Lauren Bermuda, winning a vacant IBA title against Teresa Perosi in Germany and Costa Rica. She's she's fought all over the world. She's comfortable in any arena. But here at Mohegan Sun, she's really she's comfortable. She's extra comfortable. <laughs> Patty Ramirez coming from Mexico for this fight. From Aguas Calientes. And then she, right. said, she, she told us yesterday in the interview that Aguas Calientes is known for bullfighters, <laughs> but they're, they're bullfighters. That's right. right. And listen, she's in there with a bull tonight, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. No question. Ten seconds to go here in round two. And Reese hits her with the hard right hand. Shots to end the round from Kaylee Reese. Ah, that hard right Straight hand. right hand really found a home. And Reese is starting to put the punches together right now and uh, starting to make her, make her mark on Patty Ramirez. Really getting comfortable. Patty Ramirez, she's a game fighter in her own right. They have a common opponent in Hannah Gabriels. And Reese lost a unanimous decision to. Ten months after, Ramirez fought her. She dropped. Second round TKO. Gabriel's just fought Claressa Shields. And, and Shields, uh, one, of the, one of the best fighters in, in the, entire, uh, the entire women's boxing. Uh, you know, right up there with Breakhouse. And Breakhouse, un undisputed, undefeated champion in 32 fights. And, and, and Reese, in, in the last fight with, uh, with Breakhouse, dropped her. And she dropped her, and, her and early in the fight. First time and, in her and career. pressed the fight at the end of the at the end of the match. It was more it was more Kelly that was moving forward, making the fight happen. Gained a lot of respect uh, 
gained a lot of respect uh, internationally at the same time, gained a lot of respect for itself. And, and that, that, I think, is going to make her a much, much better fighter moving forward. That's right, a historic about it, that first female co-feature on an HBO network and the history of that network. Never, never, women's boxing never. Never before seen until Kaylee Reese stepped into the ring with Cecilia Breakers. Now looking, you know, Reese making that uh, 144 pounds, we saw that she was a little bit, a little bit uh, irritable. Uh, you know, looking, yeah. <laughs> looking to say the <laughs> We're going to get on the scale, and uh, we can see her tonight, and she looks significantly rehydrated. She, she doesn't look to be uh, drawn as, as though she was yesterday, not in any way. Good right hand from Ramirez. Yeah. Hard punches. Another left. Ramirez hits her with the left hand, but she continues to come forward. Yeah. You've got to give it to Ramirez, her toughness. She's in there. She's, she, she, she's not really getting hurt much by... Uh, by, by uh, <coughs> Uh, Kelly's punches at this point, and at the same time, uh, she's looking to get a few off herself. She got one there, a little uppercut, though it was short. Not much punch behind it, but it found a home, scoring blow from Ramirez. <laughs> Reese walking her down. Three rounds down, almost halfway home. This one's scheduled for eight. Here we go in round four. Scheduled for eight. Kaylee Reese, Patty Ramirez. Two ladies banging in the middle of the ring. That counter hook just now from Ramirez. Again, she's, she's trying to put together some punches on the inside, coming up and around with the hook. combination from that, Ramirez. That's shaking her head, says, yeah, she felt game. that. That's what she did. That's Patty's game. Short oh. uppercut, trying to pot shot her. Even though Kaylee's been the aggressive, significant aggressor in this fight, Ramirez is she's really she's undaunted in, in her counters and uh, she doesn't uh, doesn't show the worst for wear. That's right. Kayla Reese, nice two punch combination there in the middle of the ring. She's wearing the turquoise trunks with white trim. Patty Ramirez in the pink trunks with the black stripe. About 45 seconds to go in round four. Reese getting off of those combinations. For her, she, she's she's not a one punch knockout puncher. But she's a consistent puncher, is Kaylee Reese. Absolutely, and she hits him in volume at times. There she goes again. She's definitely not afraid to take a couple to give a couple. Yeah. Oh, the scoring jab from Reese. She looks for the uppercut, misses. Ramirez making a uh, an amateur an amateur uh, mistake in acknowledging the punches. Of her That's right. She continues to shake her head. You acknowledge them. They land. <laughs> There goes Reese. Nice left hook to close round four. A little, a little swelling underneath the eye of, uh, of the, underneath the left eye of Kaylee Reese. They're using the inswell in the corner, a little blood coming from her nose. I would say not necessarily that, that Patty Ramirez won that last round, but at the same time, I would say she had her best round in the fight. Yes, definitely. It looked like it took her a while to realize she was in a fight. I think she got some confidence, too. I think Patty Ramirez got some confidence off of, uh, off of that last round. Let's see what she does here early in the next Reese round. There, please. I see Kaylee's corner saying the whole round, the whole round. Tell her to keep that pressure on her. That's her forte. I tell you, you could also you could also see the the end swell used in the corner of Patty Ramirez under her right eye as well. That's right. She also had a little blood trickling from her nose. Reese is trying to get that left hand clear 
as they're broken up again by the referee. Good three-punch combination, follows that up with another three shots. Ramirez took the punches pretty well. Kaylee Reese with the left hook. Right hand. Ramirez answers back. by Danny Schiavone. Reese doesn't, I mean, she doesn't put, she doesn't put a lot of mustard on any one punch, but she's very, very consistent with a very high volume of punches. She continues to try and go to that body. Broken up again. You talked about Patty Ramirez nodding her head. She's hit with the two quick shots. But it appears that she's attentive to what her corner's yelling. They're giving her instructions, and she's acknowledging them as well. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot more difficult to actually do what you're supposed to do when you're in there with a top-flight fighter like Haley Reese. Good combination there from Reese. As round five is over. Don't you guys forget, still to come, our main event of the evening, Joe Smith Jr. returns to the ring after an 11-month layoff. The man has broken his jaw twice, but he continues to come back to the Hurt Business. He's up against Melvin Russell. You won't want to miss that. Seconds out. Seconds out. Ramirez's corner giving her specific instructions, trying to use a little Spanish I know to <laughs> discern what he was saying. I couldn't hear too well, but uh, she seemed to be taking the instructions well. Kaylee Reese, Patty Ramirez, scheduled for eight. Here we are in round six, a minute 43 to go. And just as we thought coming into this fight, Ramirez would sit back and look to just counter Kaylee Reese, because Reese is going to come forward. She's coming forward no matter what. If you're a big punch, oh, you're a little bit of puncher. a headbutt. She's got a headbutt, and Reese is now bleeding from the nose. Reese is just, she's, she's moving forward. She doesn't care. She's about, taking shots and moving forward. She's taking shots, she's moving forward. She's landing with a, with a much higher volume. So it's difficult, it's difficult to give Ramirez it's a two punch combination. Wow. Look at Reese is headhunting now. Reese wants, Reese wants her out of here right now. Yeah, it seemed like that headbutt that opened up some bleeding on her nose kind of woke her up a little more here in round six. Oh, Reese what a right hand right hand. Reese. Though she's landing, now she's starting Reese's to let her hands go. <laughs> she's landing. Ramirez does not seem dissuaded by any of this. She's still in there, she's still punching. Stop punching. Danny Chivoni breaks him up. Reese is trying to get her work off. Reese is very poised. No matter what happens, Reese always, right always, always maintains her poise. Always maintains her position and control. Stop, 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 stop. Control of her attack, and she knows what she's doing at all times. Danny Chivoni tells Patty Ramirez to get her shots up above the belt line. Ramirez's mouthpiece nearly falls off, so she eats an uppercut. Just two more rounds to go as round seven gets underway. Patty Ramirez, Kaylee Reese. Reese is truly a volume puncher. She'll stand right in front of you all night long and just let them go. 
Not all hard shots, not all hard shots, but she's consistently throwing. And another thing about Kaylee is that she, she varies her attack. She's going to the head, the body, she's coming back to the body, back to the head. She varies, varies her punches quite well. Great defense there, slipping the punch by Patty Ramirez. Is Reese gets back to the offensive. Reese has got to really let go with, all, with those counter punches right now. She's got to let go with that jab and the uppercut. Jabbing her uppercuts are bread and butter. She's got she's to find a way. Right on she's got to find a way to do that. Yep. Ramirez also has to stop leaning forward with her head. She's going to get caught by an uppercut by Reese with Reese time jump. Looks like some fatigue is set in a little bit for Ramirez, too, but she's letting the punches fly. You know, it's fatigue. I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's the same time as frustration. Ramirez looks to be just a bit frustrated by Kaylee's attack. It, 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 her attack comes at, from all angles. Reese is trying to get her to come forward. Sticks oh, out that left hand. Oh, oh. Oh. Sugar Ray Leonard play right there. Yeah. Nice short uppercut finds home. There's a little bit of a mouse developing on the left side of Patty Ramirez's face. Ramirez now getting hit with some big shots. She's still getting, she's still in there. She's still letting him fly back. She's tough and she's, she's now got some significant discoloration under that left eye. That's right, she knows she's been in a fight. That, that's from those high right hands. Hand. Let's take a look at that late combination by Kaylee Reese. Reese really good on. work. That, 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 that hard right hand. That's, uh, that's producing that discoloration and, and swelling underneath the eye of Patty Ramirez. Ramirez, uh, now for the first time, she's looking a little bit dejected. Looking yeah. a little bit dejected, especially in that last round. Yeah. Round seven. She realized she was in a fight again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the eighth and final round. Two shake hands, but Reese gets right to it. <laughs> Reese, Reese not wasting any time. Hits her with the left hand, and Ramirez tries to answer oh, back. That, straight that hard was, right. That was the hardest right hand of the fight. I tell you, Ramirez took it well. She got a very good chin. Patty Ramirez came all the way from Aguas Caliente, Mexico. She's an accountant studying her master's degree to be a real estate appraiser. She may consider that really hard and long after this one. Boy. You've got to give you've got to give Patty Ramirez credit. She's she's still in this fight, and, I, and and she's dealing with the power. You know, Kaylee doesn't put. So much power in any one shot, but does pick it up from time to time and throw harder punches at times. That's right. It's consistent shots at the same time. You know, Kaylee's Kaylee's someone that dropped to see the break house in the last fight. Uh, you know, and, and she's the undisputed, undefeated champion in the middleweight division, a higher division. And Kaylee's got that kind of power when she wants to. And, and Ramirez is just taking all of these punches. Reese is really getting into a groove here, finding some home for that right hand here in round eight. 50 seconds wow. to go. That uppercut. She's walking her down and did some damage. Yeah, she ate that shot. Ramirez is so game. She's still in this. She's got 30 seconds to go and she wants to finish on her feet. Kaylee really taking the body there. She says she wanted taking to tear that body up. And she is. That, that, that body attack has been beautiful the entire night. Is that short left hook. Right to the ribs. Ramirez might have felt that shot as she takes the left hook. Ramirez coming out at the end here. Trying to finish strong. Couple seconds to go in round eight. Oh, right, right here. Solid punch. Very solid. solid. Punch. Very, very good performance for Kaylee Reese. She wanted to keep that momentum going from the Cecilia Breakers fight. And she did. Most definitely. Excellent showing from women's boxing here. And for Kaylee Reese. The decision's coming up when we come back.
in round eight. She wanted to leave her mark. Didn't want to waste much time with the uh, <laughs> thanks for playing. No time for niceties <laughs> here. This is boxing. It's the hurt business. <laughs> Boy, that, that, that right hand from Kaylee Reese is dominant the whole night. And here we're going to take a look at that right hand again. Just landing right on that on that left of eye of Patty Ramirez, and then that right uppercut, that right uppercut again, right on that eye. It's as it's as though Reese was hunting that eye at some point mm. in the fight. That was irritating. La elegante, Patty Ramirez. No doubt about that. She hasn't had a win since June 27, 2015. We've got the decision. Let's go inside the ring to David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action here at the Mohegan Sun Arena, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges, Peter Harry, Don Trella, and Steve Weisfeld, saw this bout identically 80 to 72 for your winner by unanimous decision, fighting for all nations, Kaylee K.O. McQuinnenhub Reese. Kaylee K.O. Reese. Doesn't get a KO tonight, but she earns a unanimous decision, wiping away that sour taste, a loss at the hands of Cecilia Brakus at the StubHub Center in Carson, California. Now let's go inside the ring. Dana standing by with the winner. Kaylee, uh, a varied attack, uh, very varied attack from uh, aggression, from uh, you going to the body, going to the head. Uh, something that you worked on in the gym. What did you know about Patty Ramirez coming in to be able to uh, know that you had a very good attack like that? Well, I know she was taller than me, and she uses her right hand and her jab and tries to use her length, so we knew we had to go to the body to kind of chop that tree down early. I know she's a game opponent, and we just had to execute that plan and definitely go to the body more than I did in my last fight. That's something we needed to work on, especially me being the shorter opponent most of the time. So on, on, on paper, you guys are both five foot eight. yet it, it appeared that she was significantly taller. Did you feel that? I'm 5'7". They, I mean, they give me an inch. I'll take it. But um, she was definitely <laughs> taller than me. I'm only 5'7". So, but I'll take the extra inch. Well, that, that's fantastic. So uh, after a, a wonderful performance like this, what are you looking to do next? I'm just staying ready so I don't got to get ready for that rematch. I want that rematch against Breckus. I'm staying down at with welterweight. I'm staying relevant. I'm staying busy. So, um, And in between time, I'm just ready for whatever comes. Well, you did a fantastic job tonight and a great performance. Kaylee, thank you very much. Thank you very much.